Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today, we're taking a look at a first, at least for me, a split keyboard. Now, I have enjoyed ergonomic keyboards. I did use a, I believe it was called a Microsoft Natural um, for quite a few years. Um, I especially liked the ports on it, but the ergonomics really helped. And I attribute using those as well as using wrist rest pretty early on to the fact that I knock on wood don't have or haven't developed any carpal tunnel syndrome um, that said I've been with mechanical keyboards for a while and I believe that um, the wrist rest makes a big difference as well as posture um, I do know that if I'm not sitting proper and I'm typing I'll actually become very stressed physically stressed quickly anyway I was a little more productive I believe or at least that's the perception that I got when I used the Microsoft natural when I switched from a regular um, I want to say I was using a buckle and spring back then but I I, I honestly I don't remember <clears throat> keyboards were just a passive thing just a tool as long as it had the keys and it worked, I was good to go. So, I have been looking at quite a number of splits. And one of these days, I'm going to pick up one of these, you know, kits. Because the majority of them do come as kits. Now, you can buy them already built. But it definitely adds to the price tag. Uh, but the Lily, the Corn, um, there's a few other ones that I've seen I really like. But I'm going to have to, you know, cut out an entire day. Obviously, I'd film it. But I'd have to cut out an entire day to sit there and solder all the um, the resistors, the switches, so on and so forth. So, But one of these days I'll get to it. Anyway, um, I came across this keyboard, uh, I want to say on Amazon. And I was like, oh, this is a company I'd heard of before. I may have bought products from them before. I don't know. They do a number of computer accessories but I saw that they had a split hot swap RGB I was like that's nice so I reached out to them and I was like I'd love to review that keyboard if I could they're like yeah sure so they went ahead and they sent me out a unit and this is the Mistel M-I-S-T-E-L MD600 Alpha yes it's a it's a dual mode keyboard has USB and Bluetooth and <clears throat> RGB and ZUS, they do have other layouts, I believe, uh, as far as ISO. Um, has Bluetooth. It comes with uh, RGB silver switches, so they should have the clear top, and it is hot swappable. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, split and see what we've got. So in the box, we have the manual, which uh, does cover a few languages and gives you all the controls and shortcuts. We've got adjustable feet. In case we want to um, raise it up the back like a normal keyboard or even tending it. We have uh, two screws. It's to join the two pieces together in case you want to, ha want to have it as a single piece. We have your part A to part B or part right, right to left um, cable connector to use to connect both halves. Your standard switch and keycap puller as well as a, a nice rubberized a little bit thicker than your average gold plated um, USB A to USB C cable and here we are the star of today's review the MD 600 from Mistel I like the design I like that the bezels are a little thick I like how they integrated the logo it's not in your face well actually got their logo and their logo time um, we've got the indicators right there which are nice and clear and we've got the connectors so each one has a connection so you can connect either half to the PC and then the middle ones are for connecting the two halves uh, taking a look at the halves we can see yeah there's the screws for in case you want to join these two together this one goes to the bottom this one goes on the top 
put the screws in. And now these uh, dip switches are for how some of the keys function um, between Mac and Windows mode, but I believe that the default setting was fine by me. So I do believe too that you could, uh, maybe not, I'm wrong. I was thinking perhaps it had a way for you to just screw one and be able to just like turn it, but it's either together or apart. So we do have some uh, shine through keycaps here. Hmm. Now they do, uh, a lot of them do have some sub legends on the front for their secondary function. Right, let's see what this thickness is on these keycaps. Oh, it's actually pretty decent, 1.4. So it shouldn't sound too bad. And for switches, this one came with, I believe they're Gatoron Speed Silvers, which are some that I really enjoy. All right, so let's take a look at these switches. All right, Gatoron Silvers. Sound. Lovely. I like, I like the tap of them. They're a little too light for me to use every day, but I do like them. Um, now, one thing that I noticed, I'm almost positive the Gatorade Silvers I have are five leg, um, but these only have three, but so does the PCB. Now, 2023, only having three pin compatibility forcing users of any switch that has five pins to have to cut them off. Uh, it's just kind of a, it's a letdown, uh, I'll be honest. Let me see what we got. We do seem to have a nice, appears to be a pour on material between the plate and the PCB. But the bottom of the case appears to be hollow. Hmm. Does sound a little hollow, but yeah, so uh, that's probably something to take a look at when I come back to mod it. All right, so let's take a look at one of these stabilizers, see what they look like. They're actually very well attached, and while they do have lubrication on the bars, there it is in a glob of it, and they move nice and free. Those stabilizers sound good. How about we uh, see what the RGB looks like? Actually, let me plug in the halves first. Here and bam. Oh, it doesn't even have a boot. That's just up and running. I gotta say that's nice. So let me see. I don't see the light controls on the layers. I'm looking at the sub legends to see if there's something about the lights, but we'll have to RTF out. So plugged in, we see that she's got some nice lights. Let's see what we've got as far as controls for the light, so we can play around with that for a second. Yes. The light on here isn't very bright. Alright, something that I just noticed, this key is function, this is PN, and that's how it shows in the manual, I wonder why. Now that, that's going to screw with me, I hope that that can be remapped. Because I am not a fan of changing up the... I can't believe I just noticed it. Brightness is PN and V. Alright, that's as bright as it goes. It says function escape for the color palette. Now these lights are not very bright at all. 
I mean, I'm barely seeing them through the shine through. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not impressed with the brightness of the RGB, and I'm kind of just the, the opinion that either bring the RGB or just have no RGB. So, but this is like part of the name they use in the advertising is RGB, so it's kind of like, all right, uh, show me what you got. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the Mistel MD600 Alpha RGB. This is a 60% Alice style split layout with Bluetooth and wired connectivity. This keyboard comes weighing in at 795 grams with the left side weighing 401 grams and the right side weighing 394. While sitting on a flat surface, the chin of the keyboard sits at 20 millimeters while the back sits at 28 millimeters providing for a default typing angle of six degrees. Attaching the magnetic feet to the back will add 10 millimeters, increasing the back height to 38 millimeters and providing for a 12 degree typing angle. When moving the feet over to tent, you get a four degree tenting angle. These do come with double shot PBT shine through keycaps that come in measuring 1.4 millimeter body. It includes a 2000 milliamp hour battery and has a 1000 Hertz pulling rate when connected over USB-C. It does come with your choice of Gateron G Pro switches, though the hot swap sockets on this PCB are three pin only. This keyboard retails for $149. So today we took a look at this split Alice style keyboard from Mistel. Um, now, to be quite honest, I mean, for the price, for what it offers, I don't think it's that bad of a, of a deal. I do know there's kits out there, but not everyone has the time or wants to sit and, and solder an entire kit, though. I, like I said, I, I do plan to get some split key, kits in, a, in the future. But $149, you do get a decent keyboard. Now, it doesn't sound bad, but it's also not very inspiring. It's almost flat. It's um, It doesn't have much character to the sound. Another thing that just kind of irks me about this keyboard, I mean, besides the RGB being, I mean, extremely weak. I mean, it's, it's at the highest position or at the highest brightness and barely see it. This is, this is probably the dimmest lit RGB keyboard I've dealt with. I don't know if it's just this particular unit or if just that's how they make them. But... To me, honestly, one thing that's a cardinal sin and makes it to where, honestly, I can't use the keyboard to work. It just, I cannot use the keyboard. If the corner key is something other than control or the left corner key, um, I'm just not going to. I just got done doing the typing test and I was like, why is this not working? That's why. I. I you guys want to change stuff on this side of the keyboard? Okay, but this stuff has got to remain. It's just, I, 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 I don't know. I, um, I don't know. It, and it, that can't be remapped. So, it's like, you live with it. Yeah. So that, that is what makes this keyboard one that I cannot do it, use it as a daily driver. I, I've had other keyboards that are like that, I just end up giving them away because I can't, I can't use them and I can't rightfully sell it to somebody because it's like, you're gonna have to relearn because despite all keyboards since the 80s, basically having, you know, the similarly, and some didn't have the Windows key, I know, but we had the control key right there. Um, some companies decide, let's make that the function key. And honestly, I, I don't get why. And the fact that it cannot be remapped, though it says on the website that keys can be remapped. Um, manual doesn't say anything. Online doesn't say anything. If there's a way to do it, I don't know. I mean, you could switch it to different layers, but they're 
profiles are not layers. So, but putting that function key there and then making this one PN. What does PN mean? Function? Punctuate? I, I just, I, I don't know. And it's not like the book tells you much. I mean, they don't even show you how to use the screws. I know that, that oh, it's simple. We know how to use screws, but I'll include a picture of it. What are the feet for? Are these two extra feet? Or is there any way other to use them? So I, I, I don't know. And three pens in 2023? Three pens? I mean, seriously? I don't know. So yeah, while this keyboard doesn't sound bad, um, it's just kind of flat, a little uninspiring. It, it's lacking tone or life. Um, though I'm very confident that it wouldn't take much uh, to make it sound better. And I will be coming back to it at some point in the future and modding it. Um, I don't know why, but I actually really want to paint this. I want to make it some, I don't know, like a hot pink or a hot cyan. I don't know why. For some reason, the shape of it gives me 80s Miami Beach vibes. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not making any sense. Anyway, so for a pre-built keyboard that has split Bluetooth, I mean, granted, it only has a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, and you can only really use, th or you can only use three pin switches or clipped five pin switches. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, when I do come back to it, though, uh, like I said, I might paint it. I might not. I do want to check these uh, keycaps and see if these are three. They look more like 2.75, 2 but I was going to say if they're two threes, I don't know too many keycap sets that has two three U um, keys. But anyway, I'm going to be getting back to my regular uh, schedule here. We're just still closing out all the events of the R Budget Keeps uh, giveaway. Um, we're having to do some redraws for people that didn't respond and just got to have every every vendor wants the information in different formats. So we got to do all of that. So we're about halfway through it. So if you did participate, um, we, you will be contacted if you want. Uh, and then once we're done with everything, we'll make a post congratulating all, all the winners. Um, but I do have a, um, a video planned. Hopefully I'll be able to get to it this weekend. I have three of the same uh, unit or model keyboard. Uh, they're brand new. They are kits. I'm gonna build all three of them. I'm gonna aim for one to be as thocky as possible, for one to be as clacky as possible, and for another one to be as silent as possible. I'm going to be using the same switches and the same keycap manufacturers across all three of them. That way, the only thing that's going to be different are the materials and you know what I do inside of the case. So hopefully we can go through a few materials and try to find the easiest way to reach that particular sound that you may want. Because um, I have, I mean, I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but every day I feel like I can learn something new. And some materials that I thought would, you know, make for a deeper tone, make for a higher tone, and vice versa. So I just want to go through that and, because I mean that's one of the biggest questions. How can I make my keyboard sound like? Like uh, yesterday there was a how can I make my keyboard sound like an iPhone? I'm like what? And apparently they met the 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 typing noise, the, the notification sound that it makes when using the keyboard, which is more of just that marbles. And for that, I mean, honestly, make the keyboard as hollow as possible and get those tippity tap, those, those very high pitched, loud um, linears that have like 3.4 travel or 3.6 travel, a total travel. And I think those give you that more like, just like, sounds like marbles falling on like a ceramic floor or something, but I don't know. So that, I got that planned, but I do have uh, a stack of units to review. So there will be a few reviews upcoming, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to do that three keyboard in the middle there. Uh, but because of the giveaway and everything else, I'm not making excuses, just giving you a report. Um, because of the giveaway, it took a lot more time than expected. We got a lot more vendors than we thought we'd get. Um, it was quite successful. Um, everybody is really happy about it. There was some really happy people with the prizes. Um, I don't know. I, I've always enjoyed giving gifts. I think it's awesome. And I love when people just, you know, react with such happiness and joy. It's like, I won for real? You're not pulling my leg? And I don't know. It just, uh, it warms my soul. Not to get all mushy on you. 
Anyway, uh, this keyboard, uh, I'll be coming back to it. I'll try to bring a little bit more life into it. But if you're looking for a split keyboard to try and you don't want it to do any modding, you just want to pull it out and use it, I mean, I guess at 150 bucks, it's just, it, it's not that bad. Though I got my complaints about it. I mean, it, it just, I just wish it had software. I can deal with the three legs. I don't like clipping pins off of switches, but if I was going to use this as, as my daily... Um, I mean, I did use it for a little bit. Um, I kept just scooting it back together because I don't have the proper wrist rest. I, I need to get me a, a properly shaped wrist rest so I can use my Alice properly. Actually, I could probably 3D print one. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this... Let me give you the full name. It's Barocco Mistel MD600 Alpha RGB. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Again, I want to thank Mistel uh, for sending me out this unit to take a look at today. Um, and if you guys got any ideas for what I should do when I come back to mod it, please uh, comment below so that I can uh, keep track of it and try to do it when I come back to the video or when I come back to the keyboard. So. Anyway, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the, the review. Sound test will be coming up. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.